What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. Today is part two of the Humminbird Auto Chart video. Today we're talking Auto Chart Pro by Humminbird, the PC program right here. And last week we talked about how to record on the Zero Lines card the best, most accurate way. And today we're taking this data we, re we received off this card and we're going to load it on here and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this AutoChart Pro program. And uh, you're not going to want to miss this, guys. Awesome stuff. Wait till you guys see this 3D mosaics. So cool. Stick with us this week on SlimeQuest TV. Here we go. All we got to do, open up that AutoChart Pro program. Let that baby pop up. The U.S. map will kick in. And we're going to zoom into the body of water that we want to that we have mapped already. This is the body of water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here one more time. And we're gonna take the zero lines card that we collected all the data from our Humminbird unit and go ahead and stick that in the SD card slot on the computer. Now once we have that card stuck in the computer, you can see the map actually clears up just like that right here. We're gonna to go to the import button right here. If you're not already on AutoChart Live files, it's gonna come stock on Humminbird sonar logs. This is for older units. If you're running a Helix unit or a Solix unit or an Onyx unit, you're gonna go ahead and click on the AC Live files. We're gonna go ahead and highlight all the AC files and click the open. You can see it's importing the data right here. Once the data is all imported, we're gonna see the data boxes all around this lake. Con conversion done. All right guys, once all the data has been converted, you can see all these boxes of all the data that the auto chart lines card has put on this lake. This is an uncharted lake and I have now mapped it and I'm gonna get contours and I'm gonna be able to actually see this pretty much in underwater view in 3D mosaics. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this map the best possible before you upload this back to an SD card so you can have this on, a, on a, your regular SD cards, okay? The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just hit the right mouse keypad, right click, and hit map here. This now shows all the different lines that I, how I recorded this exact lake here. You can, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see we talked about that on the last video on how to map here, but that is all my track lines. Now what we're gonna wanna do is click, hover over this little icon right up here. This says create map. We're gonna go ahead and click on that one time and it's generating the map right here. Now here's the map guys. This is a map of the uncharted lake. Now it doesn't look like much right now because our maximum depth range is 10, or our minimum max range is 10, and our maximum depth range is 110 feet. This lake tops off at about 30 feet. So what we're gonna do, there's some arrows right up here on the top of the screen. We're gonna go ahead and move that range down and we're gonna start seeing this map come together a little bit more. We're gonna bring that down to about three feet and the max range, we're gonna bring that down to about 30 feet. It's on 110 right now and that's why this map doesn't look that great. Bear with me, I'm gonna go ahead and keep clicking that and you're gonna see this map coming alive. It's already looking really good guys. You can see the, the deeper and shallow areas come in. We're gonna keep dropping that down to about 30 feet. You wanna put that about the max depth of the lake you're, you're getting into there. So here we go guys. We got 30 feet and the blue is 30 feet. You can see a couple 30 foot holes. There's one here, one here, uh, one back in here. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do guys is go ahead anywhere in this lake that you've mapped and click the right Right click on the mouse again and go to contours. Oh, never mind. Go ahead 
take that contour off. We are actually making the contours black. Right here, black contours, go ahead and click on that. And that is gonna give us our contours. Now they're in three foot depth contours on here. Um, so they're not one foot contours on this map, but on your Auto Chart Live program on the piece, on the uh, unit, you can change the one foot contours. So you can see this map already. Now this is one of the coolest features I'm gonna show you right now is go ahead and, and right click on your mouse one more time and click here on 3D. This is gonna give you a 3D mosaic of the actual lake. And you can go ahead and use your mouse, click on the screen. And this right here is just what's so cool guys, is seeing this whole underwater view of the lake. You can see these little humps that come off in this deep 30 foot zone back here. You can see all these humps, a uh, little hump right here, flat out here in the middle of the lake. And we can go ahead and you can move around um, all on this lake here. If you want to move around different sections of the lake, just go back and click on a new part of the lake. If you want to say, look at this part of the lake, it has little arrow uh, right here. What you're gonna do is now, once you're in that spot, go back to 3D and it's gonna put you at 3D right in that view right there. So you can see, nice little spine right here coming out to a little uh, isolated hump. You got a really deep break right here going off in this deep water. And uh, even got some little, you know, just little humps out here that aren't very big, but you can see the nice break, really sharp, deep break right here. Um, this is just what's so cool about this 3D mosaics, guys. And this is what I really use the most of on this PC program is this 3D mosaics. Now, I'm going to go back to 2D. We're going to look at one more spot in the lake here. And uh, same thing, you're going to do those little crosshairs right where you want to take a look at. And this is a nice little spot right in here. And we're going to go back, right click on your mouse, and go to 3D. And you can just see how cool this little bay is right here. Deep water out here, you got a nice little, you know, not, a, not as sharp of a break over here, really sharp here. Nice little point comes out right here. And you can zoom in on all this stuff. But the thing I wanna show you guys right now is, say you wanna mark this little waypoint on this, on this little point that comes out here. You can see what depth you wanna mark. And say I wanna mark it right on the middle of that point and it says depth eight feet. If I wanna put a waypoint right there, all to do is right click on my mouse and hit the mark waypoint. And now it has a waypoint right here and as soon as you upload this back to your zero lines card and then import it to an SD card and stick in your unit, you're gonna have a waypoint mark on that unit on that spot. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the 2D view. I seen a spot back here that I want to take a better look at, and that is right over here. There's a little hump that stuck out into this deeper hole in this 30 foot hole right here. So let's, we got the crosshairs lined up there. We're gonna go back to 3D view, and I wanna mark this spot right here, guys. And you can see this. These two little, these two little tits right here. I'm gonna put a waypoint on each of those marks. I'm gonna go back and fish that um, here as soon as I get back to this lake. Mark waypoint on that. Go to this other one. You hover over it, that's 15 foot. That's gonna be a great fall time, deep water spot. Mark waypoint right there. So now I got waypoints on here. Um, you can just see everything's so good on this, guys. All right, guys. So once you've actually looked at all the 3D, mosa 3D mosaics, marked waypoints and whatever structure you want, and things that look really good to you, you can go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to just upload this back to a Lake Master map. And that's what we're gonna do right here, guys, is we're just going to click up here 
on the file button. I don't know what happened here, but my file is normally over here. Things get a little turned around on here. But we're going to click on map and we're going to update Lake Master content. And now it says adding new content to your custom Lake Master map. We're going to go ahead and let that load up and I'm going to show you exactly what to do with that guys. All right, your Lake Master SD card was successfully updated. Okay, so now we have the zero card line still in our PC. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here for a second and show you how to get this information. We're gonna go ahead and click on our file explorer here on the computer. I have a Lake X folder right here. I'm going to go ahead that had my auto chart data saved in there. I'm going to exit or delete all this information out of there. Delete. So now we're going to, in the file explorer, we are going to go to our folder. You're going to see some stuff in there that is different now. Right here is a folder called BT. It's going to have a Lake Master folder with today's date in there. You can take that Lake Master folder and this has your newly created map on it right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Lake Master map, put it into the folder they have called Lake X, and you, you just do this for whatever lake you want. We now have a Lake Master map created that we just made off of that pro program. Now you can pop your zero lines card out. The zero lines card can now, you can delete all this information off there and go back to another lake and map that. And this is your Lake Master map that you created from the pro program. You can now take this information and drag and, dra and insert a blank SD card, which I don't have on me. But you can take this Lake Master information, drag and drop that right in to the new SD card and put that in your Humminbird and you are going to have a Lake Master map. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. The Pro Program, 3D Mosaics, putting waypoints in those spots. Now that you can actually see what it looks like underwater in real life is one of the coolest features in the Pro Program besides making this Lake, Lake Master map of that map so you don't have to keep that information on the auto chart live and if you go back to another lake or if you're on a big body of water and you need to record more you could always add more information to that lake master map and uh now the zero lens card is going to be empty and i'm able to record again and i have my lake master map made right there and you can just drag and drop that onto any sd card you want as long as it's 32 gigabytes or under i believe it is and uh thanks guys if you guys want to know more information, comment down below what other stuff you want to know. If there's stuff I didn't go over on this program, there's a lot on that program that, you know, you got to really get through there and look at it. But the, the main thing is, is marking those waypoints off that, uh, off that map that you guys created. So please subscribe, guys. If you like what I'm doing here, uh, you know, please let me know. Give it a like. Comment down below. I appreciate it. Subscribe, guys. And uh, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.